In this video, we are going to be looking at how we can calculate mechanical work due to a force. Just to give you the background again, uh, we will use this when we look at conservation of energy, where our final energy is the initial energy plus the work. Remember, when I had my water glass, I filled more water in what I have at the end, so what I had at the beginning plus the change, and the change here comes in form of mechanical work. So let's look at a little card. Let's assume that card is rolling uh, to the right over a distance delta s. So that card has some initial kinetic energy. What do you think how the change in energy is going to be greatest? Force 1 by pushing forward or force 3 by pushing backwards? So I think we agree force 1 is going to add energy while force 3 is going to remove energy. So you have to figure out the way how we can calculate this. So I think it is intuitive to, think, to, to look at the force first. The more force we have, the more energy can be added. So I think we can write down that the work is the force. And then for the more distance the force is acting, the more work or the more the change will be, so times distance. Now the main trick is to come up with the way uh, for the directions. So let's look at my force uh, 1 first. My force 1 has an angle of 0 degrees with the direction in which the object is traveling. And we already established force 1 will increase the kinetic energy of the object that already goes in that direction. Therefore, the work done by power Force 1 is positive. Force 2 is pushing down on the cart and has an angle of 90 degrees with the direction of travel of the cart. So we have an angle of 90 degrees. And can you change the speed of the cart if you have a flat surface pushing down on it? will not change the speed of the car. So actually, we won't even have any change. Force 3 is at an angle of 180 degrees from the direction of travel of the car. And if the car is traveling this way and you're pulling that way, then you're slowing down the car. So the change of energy must be negative, so then the sign should become negative. And then last but not least, if you're pulling up, you're at an angle of 90 degrees again. And we cannot change the energy of the system at all because we're pulling a bit up, but we cannot change the speed at which the cart goes in horizontal direction. So now the main question is, what function will for 0 degrees produce us a positive sign? For 90 degrees give us 0. For 180 degrees, will give us a negative sign, and for 90 degrees, again, will give us zero. Well, yes, correct. Cosine, right? Cosine. Cosine of zero is plus one. Cosine of 90 is zero, and cosine of 180 is going to be minus one. So, all we have to change here is that cosine of the angle, and we're good. So we have found how to calculate work. So work in general, you, call, you have to look at which way is your displacement, which way is your object traveling. You look at the force, and you look at the angle in between. So a force that goes straight forward, will add energy. A force that goes in the opposite direction as the movement will remove energy. And the force at 90 degree angle will just not do anything. And that's it for the calculation of work. 